The second global challenge, and this is a very hard one, is that clearly if you look at the problems in the world, one of the key sources of it is that there's a lot of anger in the populations of many Islamic countries. And we have to tackle the causes of this anger. And here again, I'm going to unfortunately make a very complex point in two or three sentences. There is a silver, bu so there's, there's a silver bullet available where we can tackle this problem. Let us find a solution to the Israel-Palestine question. And there is fortunately a two-state solution which even the, the present Israeli Prime Minister in an interview he gave in the New York Review of Books has said, that's the solution. And if you, believe me, if you look at the collective intelligence in this room and you are looking for hard problems to solve, try to solve the Israel-Palestine issue because if you do that, you break the back of a lot of the anger and you can possibly create a safer world for us. And of course, the third and final thing that I think we have to do is that the Asian countries, which up to now have been the biggest beneficiaries of this very benign global order that was created by United States and Europe after 1945, which frankly enabled the rise of Asia the 1945 order was a gift by America and Europe to Asia. But this 1945 order, the custodians have been United States and European Union. But they were the custodians because they believed that they were the biggest beneficiaries of this new order. But today, with this enormous shift of power taking place, and as you know, Goldman Sachs has predicted that by the year 2050, the four largest economies in the world will be number one, China, number two, India, number three, United States of America, number four, Japan. So three out of the four largest powers in the world will be Asian. So the question that the world will ask is, are the Asians who are now going to be the new beneficiaries of this global order ready to take on the leadership of the world? And this is where I hope that the IITs with their tremendous record of educating a remarkable group of people, I hope will now produce the leaders that Asia needs to provide the global leadership in the 21st century. Thank you very much.